Hi everyone, Helen Blunden here at Activate Learn on Twitter. I thought I'd share a short video today to give you some tips and techniques of how to look good on video. Now, over the years, I have been using video quite a lot and have picked up these skills and tips that I have used in my business meetings when conducting meetings online and virtually. So I thought I'd share these here because in my work at Adopt and Embrace, I'm seeing a lot of people who are actually fearful of turning the camera on during meetings, preferring audio instead. And in so doing, what they're doing is actually losing the connection with people because we simply can't see their eyes. So let's make a start. First things first, I would say the most critical aspect of looking good on camera is making sure you've got the right lighting source. Now, lighting is best if it's natural light. Just be anywhere near a window where natural sunlight is coming in and making sure that this light source is directly on your face. So you may have to move around a bit until you get that light falling on your face because it's the most flattering position to be in. Now, I know that some people might be working from home in a dark room or they might have lighting overhead or on the sides. That's okay too, but be mindful that we won't be able to see you. The whole trick here is we need to be able to see the pupils of other, other people. That's our connection to uh, people in an online format. So what I would suggest you do is find a lighting source in your house. You do not have to go out and buy anything expensive. You don't have to buy any specific photography equipment whatsoever. Find a lamp, find any lighting source, but the trick here is put it directly behind your camera lens so the lighting source is on your face again. Now, you, that artificial light is not as flattering as uh, natural sunlight but at least we can see your eyes the whole clincher here is if we can see your eyes we're on the right track now I know that sometimes we have laptops that aren't they don't have the camera in the correct position so position is the second tip I'd like to share here the position of the camera is such that it's got to be eye level, maybe slightly higher, so you're, you're looking down at the camera. So I would suggest you uh, experiment with this and always make the camera uh, go at eye level. Now, I know that some laptops don't have the camera in a correct position. So what you have to do here in this case is you have to jack up the uh, laptop by propping it up on some kind of books or boxes just to get the level right that you're looking directly into the camera. Why? Because I told you we need to see your pupils, we need to see your eyes so that you connect online with people. So that's a handy tip. Move it around so you could get the best lighting source and the position of the camera correctly. Now, another tip I've noticed a lot of people are doing is speaking to themselves. I know that it is so tempting to talk to yourself and kind of look at yourself and uh, sometimes it's difficult. I know because um, when you're talking to yourself, you just it's kind of a weird feeling. So I would say here, turn your attention and focus in on the lens. I know it's going to be difficult, especially when there are people talking and you have to look down at their faces or look up at them. But the moment you want to make a point, the moment you want to share something important or focus people's attention, you've got to move your focus on yourself into the camera and speak directly into the camera because it looks like you're talking to them directly. So give that a go because that will definitely mark up and change up your skills for camera in a very good, good way. The next one is for mainly women, but it could be for guys. We're not making any judgments here. For me, I like to get ready for the camera. I like to comb my hair and I like to put a bit of makeup on. Simply, I need to put some color on my face. Now, this may or may not be for you. That is totally up to you. You certainly don't need it. It is just what I have found just to look better on camera. One is, one is I just put a bit of blush, I put a bit of lippy to put some color on and I definitely um, put something around my eyes again just to make my eyes pop and um, 
uh, focus the attention to to the eyes it makes such a difference now for guys the best thing you can do I know you're probably not wearing makeup it is focusing directly into the lens that is it that is all you can do um, but there is also thinking about what you're wearing at least for the top half that will also make uh, your presence on camera quite strong and that is Think about what you're wearing, what you wear in the office and wear the same at home. So if it's a shirt, um, you don't have to go full business with suit and tie and the whole bit. That's not necessary, but at least some business casual because it changes the feel of the meeting if you are dressed appropriately. If you're dressed in your pyjama tops or uh, t-shirts, it lends a more casual vibe and it doesn't come across as uh, professional on camera. Another thing I would suggest is your position on camera. I could stay here front on if I wanted to. That is totally okay for um, for a for a meeting. But if you find that full on is simply too much, slightly uh, move your shoulder to your best side and um, move your neck this way. And then that way you can actually kind of see the difference in how you're positioned on camera. The other thing that you might be interested in is how you uh, are positioned on the screen. Now you can either come in too close and that's not very, um, it's not very flattering is it? But at the same time, you don't want to be too far either where people are struggling to see your eyes. That is the whole clincher here. The best thing you can do is kind of move yourself so that you are slightly off center, uh, that you have some room above your head. You've got some room on the side and you can quite comfortably just talk. Some of the other tips I noticed is when you are presenting online on camera, you want to use your hands as well. Uh, it Sometimes that gets harder and it moves moves you around. And sometimes I found that the camera finds, finds it hard to keep focusing on you because it's zooming in and out of your hand movements. The best thing you can do is just sit still, <laughs> sit still, do your presentation and, um, you know, talk about whatever you want to talk about on camera, but keep the gestures at a minimum simply to allow the people to focus in on what you're talking about and your eyes. Now, when you're in a business meeting and you've got the camera on, that's a good thing because we can see you, but it can also be a bad thing, especially when you're in an environment that might have something private, confidential, sensitive behind you. One of the things I do say to people is always be mindful of your background. If your background is a window, forget it. We're gonna, we're not gonna see you. You're gonna be dark. So move your camera around to a wall or something quite nice at the background, something that uh, does not have anything that you don't want others to see, whether it's your dirty washing, whether it's people coming in and out of view, um, whatever. Alternatively, you might want to use the blur function that a lot of uh, webinars and collaborative tools are using, simply clicking on the, the blur, blurs out your background and it allows for a lot of safety in your background so that's a consolation. I know some people are using snap camera and different lenses as well and I know Microsoft Teams will soon be coming online with a Microsoft Teams background. By all means use them but you know look at them in the spirit that they're meant to, to, to be. Um, the use of uh, filters and funny lenses are really good just to build up some team bonding and have an initial laugh and break the ice. But um, just be mindful that it doesn't get stuck on and you don't know how to turn it off. Otherwise, you'll be Mr. Potato Head all the, all the time. <laughs> but I'm all for lenses uh, within reason. And lenses are a great way of being able to maintain that privacy um, in, in the backgrounds. That is all my tips that I have for you uh, today about how to look good on camera. If you've got some other tips on how to look good on camera, please let me know, share them out to people. The best thing you can do is to keep practicing and turn on that camera during business meetings 
all you need is some light on your face your camera positioned at eye level talking directly to the the camera because we need to see your pupils that's the whole whole trick here looking good feeling confident minimizing your gestures making sure that you've got nothing in the background that is of sensitive private or confidential um, material for you and simply just have fun connect have a laugh and enjoy being in front of the camera thanks for listening and watching bye for now